Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Just starting out. I'm a new beer review guy, and uh, I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Um, I just got something different uh, from a young man I work with. Uh, he got a six pack of this, and I'm sure everybody's heard of this woodchuck hard cider type stuff, and he he got it. Him and his fiance got it, hoping it was more more of, of an appley type drink, but it ended up being well. It's called Spring. This one here is called Spring, and uh, it ended up being more mapley. And it says, let's see. It actually doesn't tell you that it's. I think he saw. I think they saw spring and assumed it was like appley, and the the little woodchuck on here is actually, he's holding an, an apple, so, I guess you would assume that it's kind of more of like an apple cider type drink, but actually it is, more maple and brown sugar, um. So. Let's see. They didn't like it. I don't think they even drank a bottle of it. But he gave me three bottles of it. So I'm going to do a review on this stuff here. I have a bad feeling that I'm not going to like it either. But um, we're going to check it out. So before I get into that, I looked up a little bit in the Wayman site. It says a touch of maple and brown sugar. It's naturally fermented, independent to the core. Springtime in Vermont means the maple trees are tapped and the only sound in the woods is that of sap dripping into a metal bucket. Farmers and hobbyists alike spend countless hours crafting Mother Nature's sweetest gift into liquid gold. The crisp, delicious taste of woodchuck spring cider is balanced with the flavors and aroma of fresh maple syrup and brown and brown sugar. A little of Vermont tradition captures and captured in every bottle. Woodchuck spring delicately balanced with notes of maple syrup and brown sugar, splendid with fresh apple character. It's a five percent alcohol by volume. Produced and bottled by Woodchuck Cidery Vermont. So, let's get on with it, and let's just see what it's like. It doesn't smell bad out of the bottle. Man, that's just... It's like a light, a very light apple juice looking color. Very carbonated. Carbonated, sorry. Alright. It looks like it looks like pop right now. I mean it's not it doesn't have any head. It's a cider, but um let's see. I can smell the apple. I can sweet this. I can smell the sweet uh, mapley. I can smell the brown sugar in there. It smells very sweet. All right, let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> I, I can taste some apple in there, but it's very, it's very sweet. Um, if this was, if this was thick, you could, you could pour this over some pancakes or some waffles, because that maple syrup is very, very heightened in there. Ahem. <clears throat> 
I could probably finish this glass. It'll take me a little bit. You, you drink this fast and you, you're going to be vomiting. It's really sweet. And that maple syrup is very is very rich in there. I mean, it's it's okay if you like if you like different hard ciders and um, other people may may really like this. Um, so I'll kind of sip on this a little bit, <clears throat> and let's get a little beer school in. Seems how this review's kind of gone kind of fast. Um, <clears throat> if you're a beer, if you're a beer, if you a beer purchaser, you buy a lot of different kinds of beer. You've probably bought um, a beer called Dunkel type beers. Um, this is going to be part one of of the Dunkel beers uh, that I read up on. They're very. It's a very interesting style of beer, and. Uh, let me tell you what it what it says about it. <clears throat> From the German Beer Institute. <clears throat> Dunkel beers are dark lagers. They are generally associated with Bavarian with Bavaria. The region of origin um, but other regions of Germany nowadays um, make Dunkels also. Like all Bavarian style of beers, Dunkel tends to be very malty with only a gentle hop accent for very little hop bitterness. It has almost no nose. The alcohol level by volume of a typical Dunkel is the range of 4.8% to 5.6%. The term Dunkel is also often used as a prefix to describe the dark version of a beer style that may come in different colors, as in a Dunkelweizen, a dark wheat ale known, known in its pale interpretation as a wise, 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 wise a buyer, wise a beer. <laughs> can't pronounce that. So there's a little bit on the Dunkel. Um, also, it's, it's in part two, but Dunkel is actually pronounced Dunkel. From what I read, but uh, okay, I wrote this, so I was having trouble r reading it. So I apologize for the the bad pronunciations and stuff. But uh, okay, um, one more drink of this nasty stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, alright. Thanks for watching.